new here, welcome to The Little Holding. We're Grace and Ryan. We moved to Somerset two years ago in search for a better way of life. And although we did find the highs we were hopeful for, we've also had our fair share of struggles too. A year ago, I was told I needed to go to hospital to have some checks done whilst I was pregnant. The doctors thought I had gestational diabetes due to Arthur being a very large baby and were concerned that it had all been noticed too late. So while Ryan and I were sat in hospital very worried and scared, my mum did her usual morning check-in on our chickens, only to find that they had been killed. We lost our chickens to what we thought was a fox. I say thought because we know there are foxes in our garden as we've caught them on camera, but still don't quite know how they would have got into our concrete stone chicken house possibly through an air vent? We're not sure. A year has passed and we are now just about ready for some new ones. They come in a week, so it's time to make their home nice and safe. Oh, and before I forget, Arthur was fine. The checks came through okay. I didn't have gestational diabetes. Arthur was a very happy, just large mm. baby. Wow, is it that tasty? Mm. So currently we're just trying to make a bit more of a shelter for the chickens. Uh, we're putting wood chip down on the floor, we want it to be rainproof, windproof, not too sunny for them um, and obviously fox proof, mink proof and whatever killed our chickens last time proof. We bought this cage from Omelette, originally we didn't have any of this but we did have this stone house which looks a lot prettier on the other side. I, I would argue that this bit's probably not the prettiest part of the chicken pen, um, but probably the safest or one of the safest bits. Um, yeah, it's a pretty sturdy bit of kit and the chickens blooming loved it. So yeah, we're just making sure that it's um, pest proof and safe for the chickens and they're gonna love it, hopefully. <laughs> I said I can't walk and film, but I think I can do it, all right? Just have to keep real steady. So something exciting happened this week. Something I've been planning. <coughs> oh, just choking on food. One second. Something I've been planning for a little bit. This, this is what I'm talking about. We got solar. We got solar panels put on our south facing roof. Um, it's a solar edge system, which means all the panels can work independently. So if one's not getting much sun, then the other one can get lots of sun and it doesn't quite affect the circuit. That's what I was told. Um, but yeah, it produces four kilowatts um, at its max, which is great. That's, that's quite a lot. Um, and it seems to be working pretty well. I mean, we haven't had a really sunny day yet to test it. I'm sure in the winter it'll be like... But I mean, with, with energy prices what they are, and four or five of us living in a house now, um, yeah, need to reduce those costs a bit. So spend a bit of money now to save money in the future, because I'm sure electricity prices will get will get worse. Um, don't don't quote me on that. I went on about my potatoes a lot, and oh, I finally got them in the ground. I don't know if Grace has even shown like my uh, my new bed. I made a whole new bed for just my potatoes. Screw you everyone else. And look, look at that. We've got some root action. Yeah. I think those potatoes are gonna be good.
can't see me, but you can probably see that water in the background. Ryan's trying to sort out the guttering and it absolutely reeks. That smells of rotten, rotten something. It's gross. Now, in case you're wondering why on earth I'm just pushing the wood chip around with my feet, it's because we can't fit the wheelbarrow through the little door, the omelette door, um, to this cage. So my mum's just like tipping it over. She's um, shoveling it into the wheelbarrow, tipping it in here, and then I'm just pushing it around. I could shovel it myself, but to hold the shovel and Arthur, it's quite hard work, so. This is just gonna have to do for now, isn't it, Artie? But I'm, abso hey. I'm absolutely boiling, and it's quite hot in here with this as well. Pardon? So we planted some salad in here earlier on in the year, knowing that eventually we'd need to replace it with tomatoes, chilies, aubergine, oh no, not aubergines, but melons, peppers, you know, did I say tomatoes? All the heat loving plants will be going in here. And so we won't be using it for salad, but um, we planted salad in here for now because we knew it was quite cold outside and we wanted to get a good crop, which is great because it's worked. We've got loads of leaves that we can use for dinner tonight. I think we're having um, a chicken, like a roast chicken or a barbecue chicken. I think Ryan might be doing beer can chicken. I'm not completely sure. So I thought I'd harvest some um, lettuce and we'll make a salad. I was thinking like Stilton pear salad with all the different leaves and herbs and stuff that we've got going on here. Some of the salad we've never ever tried before, but it looks beautiful. So the way we harvest lettuce is we do the whole cut and come again thing. Um, the idea is that we don't harvest a whole head of lettuce and just cut it off at the base. Instead, we just pick individual leaves. More time consuming, sure, but you get a way better harvest that way, or at least it feels like it for us. And um, I like the variation of different lettuces rather than just having like just one plant. Um, so that's what I'm doing, which means, yeah, it takes forever. But hey, it's quite therapeutic. I'm not sure you can quite see how pretty this lettuce is, but I think it's like a frilly mustard of some kind. And it's quite tasty as well. Never grown it before, but yeah, it's done amazingly. I'd like to apologise about my hair, by the way. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a real, like, postpartum hair growth situation going on, and there's not much I can do about it. Put me down a little bit, but oh well. I'm assuming this is Rocket. Rocket. Yum. That is some tasty rocket. That'll do. There's only four of us eating dinner, and we've got a whole chicken as well. Um, so yeah, that'll make a good salad. Um, I'm actually just going to. I'm actually just going to quickly go and get some sorrel as well from outside um, to add that because it's like got a nice lemony taste to it, so it should be nice and fresh. So someone's cutting the lawn behind us, so I hope you can hear me. This is my mum's like wild edible corner, I guess. Um, and eventually it'll be absolutely full. We've got like lovage, wild strawberries. So that's some thyme, some sorrel, some more wild strawberries. I think that's a kiwi that's going on in the background. The bees absolutely love it here. If you don't know what sorrel looks like, look how pretty it is. And it turned out that Ryan was cooking beer can chicken after all, and I can confirm that it tasted amazing. We spent the rest of the evening just enjoying the sunshine if I'm honest, because it has not made very much of an appearance in the last few months, but it looks like spring has finally joined us. Thank you very much for watching, a massive thank you for 2000 subscribers. If you haven't already, please press that bell and the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Bye. Golden thing.